my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In yesterday's video we fought a bunch of slavers and picked up Fenris here as a permanent companion. In today's video I actually want to start with Isabella's contact. It's Isabella's companion quest and then from there if we have time I actually want to work on the Long Way Home quest. This is the quest we picked up in the very first episode from Flemeth, and it's been over a year since she gave us this amulet, so we should probably get on that. So let me go talk to Isabella. We used to have another bartender here, you know. Oh? He went into the back room for another keg of ale one day and never returned. So you be careful going back there. I promise. If I go back there, I won't be alone. She totally reminds me of Zevron, like the overly flirtiness. So, and, and Zevron was a rogue too, so it kind of fits. Anyway, let's talk to Isabella. Maker, I think he's ignoring me now. Hey, is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk, thanks for helping me with that little problem I had. You going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? You drink the swill here. It's an acquired taste. Oh, before I forget, are you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. Hmm, a friend? <laughs> Is this a friend or a friend? <laughs> I never let him steer my ship, if that's what you're asking. From what I hear, he doesn't have good control of his rudder. <laughs> His name's Martin. He has a room right here in The Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. Now, you going to leave me to my drinking or what? The truth is out there. Did he just X-Files quote over there? <laughs> and seriously, Isabella's ship innuendos. I mean, okay, well, I guess I don't have to have her as a companion, but she did give me this quest called Finder's Keeper. Speak to Martin about a job at his room at the Hanged Man. But like I said, I want to actually work on a long way home. Oops, not what I meant to do. Mark as active quest. And we need to deliver Flemeth's amulet to Keeper Marathari in the Dalish camp on Sundermount. So let's just go do that. And we'll come back and do this secondary quest later. And I, I do like my party set up with Bethany as my healer, Fenris as, well, I don't know if he's a tank, but he kills stuff great. And Varric. Varric's always fun to bring around. So we need to go to Sundermount, and there are other quests up there. Duty sounds like... Wasn't that Sebastian's quest? Like we had to go around and kill a bunch of people? Oh, Explorer. Whatever that means. <laughs> But yeah, duty was... which one was it? No, premium content. Flint Company Mercenaries in Sundermount. Okay, well, let's quick save just in case they kick our butts. And let's go and do that. Here they are. Hi. Ah! Let me see. Let's um, stun you and then... Oh yeah, I have this new spell, Twin... Is it to say Twin P? Oh, there we go. Hawk's got some... Some air right there. That's <laughs> so crazy. I have... Not Twin Peaks, Twin Fangs. So... Oh wow, that's a... That's a really nice one. And Bethany leveled. Great, we'll do that later. I don't want to... I don't want to do it now. Flint Company, and it's green. What does that look like? Um, no thanks. I like my blue glowy armor way better. All right, so since we're a new place, do they have anything new to say? I wonder if Mother has received an audience with the Viscount yet. We should move on. <laughs> oh, hey, nature. I've heard about this. Thought it was just a rumor. 
As serious as Fenris is, that's how funny Varric is. And Bethany's somewhere in the middle. I, I like my, my group. Okay. Anyway, let's go up here and work on this long way from home quest. Maybe there's somewhere around here. I suppose I should look around before I get there. Get some elf roots. No doubt I need a whole bunch of that to make things. And yeah, that looks like that was it, I guess. Maybe I'm rambling. I know. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. Whoa, did the Dalish suddenly go Irish? I don't. OK. Well, what did you call me? What's a Shemlin? It is the elven word for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Okay, uh, what are the Dalish? Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. So you say, frequently. <laughs> we remember who the people <laughs> truly are, even as you city elves forget. Well, um... Again, I don't know what we're referencing, but I get that a lot. It seems funny. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me. How this burden fell to you, child. Hmm. Well, you were expecting... Well, it's a dull tale, so that's the one I'll go with. So, were you expecting me? Your guard said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind. To the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. <laughs> they changed it. Okay. Uh, well, why bring the am why did I need to bring the amulet here? Are you the leader of these Dalish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Bellinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Hmm. Wonder what her debt was. Well, can you tell me what this amulet does? Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child. Made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. Okay, well, that's why I'm here, to keep a promise, I guess. A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. <laughs> you are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done, and when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Yeah, that's weird. 
Well, who are you sending? Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. <laughs> yeah, gonna go with weird. It's still weird that she wants to leave, right? That seems a little odd. Mm -hmm. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shirar. This mountain is cursed, I swear. Three days in a row I've shot at and missed deer. Maybe it's not the mountain. Maybe it's just you that's cursed, my love. <laughs> you always know just what to say to put my mind at ease. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, update. Take Flemeth's amulet to the altar at the top of the mountain. And then I think duty also updated because we checkmark completed killing the mercenaries in Sundermount. Well, before we go up there, let's look around and talk to everybody. Let's start with these two up here. Conclude your business with Keeper Marathari, uh, Shemlin. And Iran, and be gone from here. Stranger. Conclude your business with Keeper Marathari, Shemlin. Okay, I guess I can just talk to one of them. We have our bows trained on you, Shemlin. Conduct your business with the Keeper quickly. You guys are not very nice. I mean, I get it, but... I brought you something. Oh, really? I picked it while I was hunting. Not a lot of game. Plenty of wildflowers. That's very sweet, Chandon. Uh, and Iran Atishan, stranger. Okay. Thanks. All right, Vasco. We have our bows trained on you. Shh, I'm trying to speak here. Vaseline blood writing. I feel like that's not a new one, but we'll look later. And then you don't look very warven, warven, <laughs> warrior outfitted. Hmm. Geography of Thetis. And Varric and Fenris bubbles. Great. Cursed, I swear. Three days in a row I've shot at and missed deer. Maybe it's not the mountain. Maybe it's just you that's cursed, my love. Oh. You always know just what to say to put my mind at ease. Shh, you guys said it already. All right, Tereth. Watch Tereth. your step, Shem. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are trained on you right now. Okay. And then... Shemlin. Wonderful. Make your business here quick. Okay. Couldn't you talk to him for me, please? He doesn't bite, Paul. Just tell him you made a mistake. I ruined a piece of ironwood. That's not a mistake to Master Island. That's like committing murder. At least it's not a hanging offense. You can do this. Be brave. They're awful chatty. Shemlin. Wonderful. All right, let's... Map up Occupy Kirkwall. Make your business here quick. Really? A map with a generous interpretation of the reach of Orlais. Many similar documents were thrown from windows each time Kirkwall was liberated, much to the frustration of those in the gallows tasked with record keeping. Huh. Okay. Let's see our lath in part one. Then Master Island. I am Master Island, a crafter for this clan. Forced to stay so close to this Shemlin city, I've seen my share of outsiders pass through our camp. Is there something you needed? Well, can you tell me about your trade? Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. Well, I guess I'm fine. I don't need anything right now. Of course. But I am going to investigate your shop. It really wasn't your fault, you know. Maseranus, Juno. It feels like my fault, though. We can get more, Hala. It won't be the same. Yeah, where are all your Hala? All right, we'll, we'll think about that in a minute. All right, let's go shopping. If you can't tell what it is, then it's rubbish. Hush! All right, well, I just take a moment oh, to go shopping. Um, it's a little flat for a bowl, perhaps? I told you so. Okay, they, everyone just keeps talking over me. <laughs> so I did take a moment to go shopping, and then I also leveled up uh, Varric, Fenris, and Bethany, and also worked on their tactics, because it seems like 
I don't know if they hit a certain point when they level, they just get more tactics. And that's what happened. <laughs> so there you go. The Tale of Eloran. Hmm, that does not sound familiar. I will have to read that later. But it looks like uh, we have to go up here now that I'm switching topics so quickly. But before I go up there, I want to come over here to see what I can see, basically. <laughs> Um, well, by all means, let's go up to the angry wandering elves and say hello. We already did that, Peric. Shouldn't you have said that before we got there? So we leave area there. I thought all dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast pin. <laughs> I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, the broody elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, <laughs> women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. <laughs> You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pin. <laughs> oh, they, they gave it good to each other. That's funny. Fenris is a little broody. That's okay. It could be worse. It could be possessed by... Not going back to Anders. <laughs> Gonna avoid that whole topic right now since he's not with us. Anyway, well, there's nothing of interest over here. That's rather disappointing. Seems very a, a waste of space. <laughs> but maybe there'll be something later. I don't know. All right, up the mountain we go to find her first. I don't. Did she tell us what this person's name was? I can't remember. Oh, I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl, which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. Well, I don't mind rambling, but I need to talk to you first. So who are you? We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... Or was, I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish that can help us get to the summit of Sandermort. Okay. Why are you deciding to leave your clan? Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? Mm, did you do something wrong? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. <laughs> not exactly, anyway. The Keeper and I have disagreements, but it will sort itself out in time. Um, okay. Uh, what was that that you were doing? Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. Hmm, well, I think you're lying. And, but what's the matter? You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Dalish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Okay. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up. Now. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Well, don't, don't feel the need to be so nervous. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? Well, it could be worse, I guess. Oh, I miss the cold. And the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no Darkspawn. <laughs> Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and Mac gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. Well, what can you tell me about this rite? What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. 
Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. Okay. You know about my task. I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Belenar's amulet. And we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Okay, have you met Asha Belenar? Do you know the witch who sent me here? No, not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Asha Belenar wind up in little pieces, hanging from the trees. Well, that's, um... That's lovely, but I am ready to go, so let's go. Let's get this over with. Mm. Meryl. As each generation passes, magic becomes more rare among the Dalish. As the gift dies out, talented children are moved between clans so that every keeper has a successor and no clan is in danger of being left without guidance. Meryl was born to the Illyrian clan, which wandered the hills of Navarra. She was the third child of the clan with the ancient gift born to her. When the next Arlathven gathering of clans occurred, she was given to the Sabre clan to be first to the keeper Marathari. Meryl was just four years old. She spent most of her life in Ferelden and the Korkari wilds until her clan was driven north by the Blight. Huh, that's really... Interesting, but sad. She was taken away from her parents. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, big jump scare today. <laughs> Let's try one of these twin fangs things. That's awesome. And uh, we'll just start jumping from corpse to corpse. How did that one take so long to die? That's bizarre. Oh, Barrick, you've got. Well, I'll come back here and get these, actually. And we will do one of those. Never to get on our bad side. The keeper didn't mention you were a mage. I imagine it's difficult to give away something nobody wants. Hmm. All keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Okay. Well, what do you do about demons? Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own keeper. What about Templars? Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. And no one minds having to pick up and move over and over just to protect a few of you. Why would they mind? Once we've picked over a hunting ground, there's no reason to stay. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. Um, yeah, I didn't see any Hala, even when I went around to the back side of the mountain. But yeah, you're gonna... You, yet you risk the city's danger by, well, I, it doesn't make sense, but let's just say it. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know, but if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. A solitary elf is easy prey for anyone. In the city, I can get lost in the crowd. That's what I was hoping that statement was going to go towards, that going to a city with a bunch of Templars. Well, anyway, nice work killing the corpses. Please keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right. Not literally. Happy to help. I've done a little fighting before, but it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. <laughs> she babbled. She reminds me of how I can babble and just go off on tangents. But, I mean, she's acting very, very young. I wonder how old she is. I hope we're going the right way. I get turned around a lot up here. 
I mean, she's either a complete ditz or she's just really, really young. I don't know if ditz is the right word. Absent-minded is probably more politically correct. <laughs> but you know what I mean. She just seems very... I don't know. There, but not there. More corpses? Okay. Let's see. Um, well, Fenris is going to help Bethany out, it looks like, so... Oh, and what is that Bethany's new glyph of... What is it? Repulsion, I think I gave her? Why are you not dying? Is there a mage or something I don't see? Line them up for me. I'll take them down. Okay. Who leveled? I don't understand. Did I level? No one leveled. Sorry, I heard the leveling sound in the background and Hmm, maybe I'm hearing things. I turned down the music and sound you effects can feel so how low. Thin the veil is up here. Perfect place to bury your dead. The ancient elves were brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, Fenris, for your sarcastic remark. As I was saying, I've turned down the music and sound effects so low, so there's no like crazy overlap with uh, in-game dialogue, because it's been pretty bad. It's been hard to fix it. But anyway, what does Meryl have to say before we go any further? It's sort of a long walk to the graveyard. I hope you wore comfortable shoes. I mean, I'm wearing my boots, it looks like. I know, I keep bouncing from topic to topic today. I'm fully aware that I'm very discombobulated. So the Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. Well, he's not very nice. But yeah, so nice mountain you have here. Sundermount seems very mountainous today, doesn't it? Lots of rock and hillside. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's go. We should hurry. It's an awkward conversation. Okay, health potion and stamina droughts. Is there something? Elf oh, fruit. Try not to miss all these gathering things. A landslide blocked the path. There's a cave that should take us to the other side. Well, can't you just magic our way through it? <laughs> Waiting for that. That's not how magic works. Hawk. <laughs> okay, Sender Mount Passage. Let's quick save. It's been a while. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. What, what do you mean? They seem really friendly. But the Dalish are delightful. <laughs> I was just thinking of inviting the whole clan over for tea. <laughs> I'm sure they'd never accept in a... Oh. <laughs> right. Sarcasm. <clears throat> Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belenar isn't known for her patience. Well, then hopefully she will be pissed that I took a year plus to bring over the amulet. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Just like, oh, sarcasm. Oh. All right. Anything new to say? Right behind you, Hawk. 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 <laughs> we shouldn't talk here. The mountain is home to a lot of terrible things. Remnants of a war long ago. Be on your guard. Okay. Sorry, I would like talking to them because occasionally they have funny things to say. Um... All right, well, I'll attack this spider, I guess. I love that new ability. Twin Fangs is... I think you said as much as possible. Oh, great, there's more. Well, let's rush this group here. And I'll backstab that one. And then... And 
That's it, right? I don't see anything else. Okay. Rubble. The last descent. Huh, I'll look at that later. All right, well, I know we just got into this, what is it, Sundermount Caverns, but we're actually at time for today. Tomorrow we will pick back up here and continue to work on this A Long Way Home quest. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age 2 video.